Good morning, and welcome to the celebration of the 12th Sunday in Ordinary Time. For those of you who are joining us virtually, allow me to direct you to the flow code on your screen. You can click on that to be linked to the readings and songs, as well as to make a contribution. Those of you who receive our flock note announcement can contribute, can continue to do the same through the announcement or use this new feature. Our entrance hymn is The God of All Grace, number 301. Please stand and join us singing as we welcome our celebrant, Monsignor Browers, number 301. The God of all grace has blessed us this day. All of creation joins us in praise. Lifting our voices, lifting our heart to the glory of God forever. God of power and might, come into our presence this day. Strengthen us now with the Spirit of us this day. All of creation joins us in praise, lifting our voices, lifting our hearts to the glory of God forever. God of mercy and truth, who brings us from night in the spirit of hope and shield us from our fear. The God of all grace has blessed us this day. All of creation joins us in praise, lifting our voices, lifting our hearts to the glory of God forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Just last week, Jim White was ordained a deacon, and he's already joining us here as Deacon Jim White. You'll notice him in his Dalmatic, as well as his the white alb. He'll also be preaching, so make sure you have your, your numbers up. We gather around our Lord's table to worship a God who loves us all, who cares for us throughout the storms of our lives. Let us recognize our sins as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us now together praise and glorify our almighty God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, 
with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord, grant that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Job. The Lord addressed Job out of the storm and said, Who shut within the doors the sea when it burst forth from the womb, when I made the clouds its garment and thick darkness its swaddling bands, when I set limits for it and fastened the bar of its door and said, Thus far you shall come, but no farther. And here shall your proud waves be stilled. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. the storm to a gentle breeze, and the billows of the sea were stilled. Give thanks to the Lord, His love is everlasting. They rejoiced that they were called. And he brought them to their desired haven. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his kindness and his wondrous deeds to the children of men. Give thanks to the Lord.
A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the love of Christ impels us. Once we have come to the conviction that one died for all, therefore all have died. He indeed died for all, so that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. Consequently, from now on, we regard no one according to the flesh, even if we once knew Christ according to the flesh. Yet now we know him so no longer. So whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. On that day, as evening drew on, Jesus said to his disciples, let us cross to the other side. Leaving the crowd, they took Jesus with them in the boat just as he was and other boats were with him. A violent squall came up and waves were breaking over the boat so that it was already filling up. Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. They woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up, rebuked the wind and said to the sea, quiet, be still. The wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? They were filled with great awe and said to one another, who then is this? whom even wind and sea obey. The Gospel of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. How wonderful it is to be here today on Father's Day in the year of St. Joseph. My brothers and sisters, what is faith? Faith is the antidote to fear. Some will like to dismiss fear as false evidence appearing real. However, there is real fear. Finances, family, medical issues, many things pile up along the way. And we as humans have the unique capacity to worry about the future, which is why our pets are always so happy. You have faith. You are here today in church. We are all 
looking to strengthen our faith by being here. Today's gospel is about a boat on a stormy sea. Our church is, in fact, that boat. We are all in the same boat. Jesus' response to his disciples was pretty sharp and stern. Have you not gotten faith? God is with us in stormy times. Since this is Father's Day, I prefer to use the analogy of a father's love, like St. Joseph, and acting like St. Joseph, quiet, calm, steadfast, just getting things done. So little is written in scripture about St. Joseph, that's because he was just doing. The doers, the quiet ones. And I am sure that St. Joseph had to feel that he was in a terrible storm on a number of occasions. Also, referring back to the first reading from Job today, we see evidence of God's paternal love to all of creation. A great book about suffering and trying to explain the causes of suffering and the great debates that Job had with God throughout. Because Job was probably one of the most righteous men in all the Bible. Some would say it was made up, but in reality, it doesn't matter because it, it attempts to explain why bad things happen to good people. So Job had these numerous debates. God, why this? Why that? I do your will. Why do things go wrong? And he challenged God. And God actually invites us into a discourse with him. God actually wants us to have a dialogue with him, an ongoing conversation. We don't have the answers. We have to ask God, why is this? Maybe we'll get the answer right there and then. Maybe it won't happen in this lifetime. But we need to ask. And God wants us to have that dialogue. We are his children. In the end, God blessed Job because all throughout, Job was faithful. Is there a God? Look at creation. Yeah, I know, but I can't see God. <laughs> well, for the last 15 months, we all seem to be running around from something we couldn't see. So uh, visible sighting is not necessarily evidence of existing. Um, our life is a stormy sea, and God will not let us perish. He wants us to be faithful. He wants us to strengthen our faith. He wants us to take advantage of the tools that he's given us. Sacramentally, he's always in our midst. We have the great sacrament of reconciliation. Saturday afternoon, 4 to 4.45. We have scripture available outside of mass. We have Mondays after the 8 o'clock mass with adoration. Personal, private time with our Lord. And finally, the prayer. The prayer that each of us has in our own heart. Personal prayer and structured prayer kind of prayer like we'll have shortly in the Mass for the Our Father, the very prayer that our Lord himself gave to us. The Gospel today shows us the unique power that God has to quell the forces of nature. And in awakening Jesus, the disciples show a tremendous lack of faith. And that is because they were human. So are we. Jesus responds 
and protects his disciples, even though their actions discredit him and insult him for having no apparent concern for them. So it is with faith. We go from a comfortable feeling to anxiety, to resolution, and then anxiety about the troubles of the world until once again, God shows his tender love and mercy. Oh, there may be dark nights of the soul. We know the stories of them from St. Therese of Lisieux and St. Teresa of Calcutta. For years, they felt that God's answer never came. They prayed and prayed and prayed, and they felt that God never responded. But he does always hear us, always. Jesus calls us to have faith, even when it seems impossible. Happy Father's Day. Let us now together profess our faith in our God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. God, our creator, has power over heaven and earth. He has created us simply out of love. Let us present our many needs and concerns to God, whose love is everlasting. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may faithfully proclaim the saving gospel of Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our civic leaders, that they may recognize that their authority comes from God, and their duty is to serve the needs of all, especially those in greatest need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all fathers and stepfathers, grandfathers and godfathers, that they may have the necessary strength and tenderness, courage and wisdom, generosity and faithfulness as they guide and direct all those under their care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For all those who are ill, especially Aaron Breen Wukajevic, Katie Riley, Mark Jones, and Joseph Jew, that they may experience God's love through our care for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, 
and in particular, Marie Smith, Anthony DeFalco, Ann McDevitt, Richard Savage, Anthony DiGiovanni, and Joan Quinn, that they may be welcomed into the peace of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of the universe, hear our prayers. Help us to remember that our strength is in you, the source of all power. We ask this in the name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord. Amen. Our second collection this weekend will be in support of Peter's Pence. If you haven't already sent in your envelope or contributed electronically, please place your contribution in one of the collection bins at the church entrances on your way out. New family registration for PrEP is now open. Please see our parish website for details. Existing PrEP families, please register for PrEP. An email was sent from Parish Giving on the 8th of June to our current PrEP families. Additional details can be found on the website. And due to a funeral tomorrow, adoration will stop at 12 noon and resume at 3 p.m. Please join in singing our preparatory hymn, number 434, Only in God, 434. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. O Lord, receive the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim.
are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through the, your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope and Nelson, our Bishop, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have called before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To James Iannone and all our departed brothers and sisters and all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join in singing our communion hymn, number 362, Bread of Life, 362. Christ our brother feed us 
us now, give us life, lead us to one another, as we proclaim your death, as we recall your life, we remember your promise to return again. Bread of life, hope of the world, Jesus Christ, our brother, feed us now, give us love, lead us bread we break and share was scattered once as grain just as now it is gathered make your people one bread of life hope of the world Jesus Christ our brother Feed us now, give us life, lead us to one another. Please join in singing our meditation hymn, number 463, The King of Love, My Shepherd Is. No, nope, I'm wrong. It's The Lord Is My Hope, number 464. save me and you heard you are God and you lift up the poor the Lord is my hope and my glory the Lord is my song that I sing so tender and loving so rooted in justice a king, when shadow confuses my vision, when sorrow lays claim to my heart, God is my refuge, my rock and my shield, I will rely on.
thank you. Those of you who have joined in celebrating the Eucharist remotely, since you are not at this time able to receive our Lord and Holy Communion, I invite you to join me in a prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you since you are already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord, renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Please join in singing our closing hymn, 429, through the, Though the Mountains May Fall, 429. Though the mountains may fall and the hills turn to dust, yet the love of the Lord will stand. As a shelter for all who will call on his name, sing the praise and the glory of God. Could the Lord ever leave you? Could the Lord forget his love? Though a mother forsake her child, he will not abandon you. And the hills turn to dust, yet the love of the Lord will stand as a shelter for all who will call on his name, sing the praise and the glory of God. Should you turn and forsake him, he will gently call your name. Should you wander away from him, he will always take you back. Though the mountains may fall and the hills turn to dust, yet the love of the Lord will stand as a shelter for all who will call on his name, sing the praise.